What's up guys, how's it going? Welcome back for another video. So today, I'm outside working on kind of a unique challenge. So I've got, got an infestation of wood bees. Carpenter bees, wood bees, I'm not sure what you call these things. There's one right here, I'll see if you can try to get them on camera, they're kind of skittish. A couple of them. So these things, can you see them? See two of them? I assume you can see them. So. If you're not familiar with these wood bees, these things eat pressure treated wood like it's candy. And they, they just showed up at our house. I'd never dealt with these things before. They showed up at our house, um, I don't know, probably four or five years ago maybe, uh, maybe six years ago. They ha they haven't, we haven't had them the whole time we lived here, but in any case, these bees are, they look just like a bumblebee. You can see them up there but they have a nasty habit of drilling holes in all things wood. And what they do, so like here's an example right there. Oh, actually there's one up in there right now. I can see him, we're gonna get a real life. We're gonna hit him with WD-40. I'm sure I saw one in there. So I'm getting ahead of myself, but I've got another video. I'll try to find that video and throw a clip in here. But in the past, the way that I've dealt with these things is uh, kind of fun actually, but I use a racquetball racket and I wait up on top of the deck and when the sun's out and it's nice and bright, they, uh, they're not aggressive. They don't, I've never been stung by them and I've killed I don't know, I've probably killed a hundred of these things with a racquetball racket. So it's actually a lot of fun. This guy wants to play. Come here, bud. Oh yeah. Um, I think I'm wrecking my elbow, swinging at bees, killing them. And all it does is kind of knock the population down a little bit, but it doesn't, it doesn't get rid of them, obviously. It's just kind of, Kind of a fun pastime so um after that video i've had two or three people tell me that all you have to do to get rid of these things is to spray wd-40 in their holes so the challenge is there are holes everywhere so i was about to i was about to try to show you some examples when i got distracted there i'm positive i saw something moving in there and i sprayed wd-40 in there and it didn't come out so maybe it killed it instantly i don't know but here's an example right here. Oh, there's one in there too. I can see them moving. I wonder if those are larvae or maybe they're actually in there laying eggs right now. So there's an example you can see. So they drill these holes. I'm gonna spray that sucker. There's one in there. I could see them for sure. And you know what? They do not like WD-40. Cool. So you can see there's a hole. Here's my finger. So they, they drill these holes that are like probably three eighths of an inch. See, there he comes out of there. I'll probably end up getting stung. But this is, of course, these are pressure treated uh, two by tens on this deck. And you can see there's a hole there. There's a hole there. Uh, there's a hole there. There's a hole there. They're all over the place. And where they're really bad, I'm curious to curious to watch this bee is not coming out of here so either it's protecting its nest or this is killing them there's the one that I sprayed a little while ago I can see the bee right there so I'm just gonna pump these holes full so this is this is what I'm gonna do and it's gonna be a little test the hard part is finding all the holes because they're all over the place under here. So, um, and I'll actually show you the worst, the worst, I'll come over here. I can climb up on the retaining wall. So they'll actually come in here and drill holes. So you can see that's like the rim joist of the deck basically. So they drill holes up in there. You can see they're eating that thing away. Here they actually drill, this is like just a trim fascia board out here. So they drill up into that fascia board and they start burrowing through and literally pop out the side. That's how far those things burrow in there. So 
you know, most bees are a pain because you don't want to get stung and they're just annoying. These things are literally eating my deck. And it's not just the deck boards, it's the actual treated, you know, the treated two by the structure of it. So over time, if I don't get these things under control, uh, they're gonna actually weaken my deck. So I'm gonna go through, you saw me spray a few holes. I'm gonna take my time and I'm gonna try to find every hole that I can and I'm gonna pump those things full of WD-40, like I have been told by a couple of people. And those two there that I sprayed, I've not seen those bees come out, so I think it's probably killed them in there. What I don't know then is that w, does that WD-40 leave some kind of a, you know, does that oily coating that stays in there, when the next bee goes in, do they pick it up on their, you know, their, their, their body and their wings, and does it either kill them or, you know, prevent them from being able to lay eggs or prevent them from being able to fly, I don't really know. Um, but I'll know, if I, if I can find all these holes and pump them full, I'll know quick because um, you probably can't see them on camera, but they're all over the place. I can see right here, I can see one, two, three, four. I mean, they're just buzzing all over. They're up on top of the deck. So if this works, I'll know in pretty short order here within a couple of days, you know, if I start to see the bee population um, decrease, and then I'll come back and finish up this video. So stay tuned. I'll be back to you in a couple of days. All right, guys. So I know I said I'd come back in a couple of days, but I just wanted to give you an update. So I've gone around and sprayed all the holes that I can find. And now uh, they've kind of separated now, but at one point I had six of them that were all buzzing down underneath the deck boards, looking pretty agitated. Like they wanted to go into holes, but they didn't like them filled full of, full of WD-40. So there you can maybe see a bunch of them. So I don't know, I'm encouraged. They don't like it for sure. I got a couple of direct hits on uh, on a couple and it didn't knock them down like you know like bee spray does so it doesn't like immediately kill them i'm thinking that maybe it's just the you know they just don't want to go into those holes anymore after they've been filled full of full of wd-40 so anyway i got them all i think i'm going to kind of watch i'm trying to see if i see any find a hole that i didn't already get get filled full and i'll pump it full and then we'll give it a couple days and we'll see if the population has diminished All right, update number two or three or whatever update we're on. So, encouraging. I've got on the ground here, the bees are still very agitated, but I've got two that I'm seeing so far on the ground here that are acting pretty drunk. They're not very happy. So, I just thought I'd show you. So, there's my. I'm trying to get myself stung. There's the bee in relation to my thumb. It kind of gives you an idea how big they are. This guy's not too healthy. He must have, I think he's probably one that took a direct hit from WD-40. But that's what they look like close up. They've got little, apparently they've got little powerful mandible pinchers that they use to drill those holes with. This one's not having a good day, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and dispatch him. Okay guys, so I'm back for an update. So it's been, see this is Friday, so I think it's been three days since I shot the uh, that initial video. Uh, the next day it rained, and then yesterday was a pretty nice today, day, and then today is, is a nice sunny day. So these, uh, these carpenter bees I figured out, they really like the hot, sunny, um, bright days. That's when they tend to come out most, it seems like. And so I've got an update. Um, I've got some success that I wanna share with you. So, I think I showed you last time. I don't know how well you could pick it up on video, but um, I had bees swarming everywhere. So I would say that when I was up here messing with these holes, there was probably at least 12 to 15 carpenter bees just hovering everywhere, um, dive bombing me. And I'm not generally afraid of these things, but um, I, I, I thought there was a good chance that I might actually get stung, but I didn't. So that's a good thing. So, you know, the test was WD 40, right? So I sprayed WD 40 in the holes. Um, I gave it a couple hours, I came back out, and unfortunately, I was disappointed to find out that those bees were right back in those holes, so that didn't work. Um, so I was gonna hit them again, and I actually ran out of WD-40. So 
went in the garage and found this. So this is, it's also, it's made by WD-40, obviously. Let me make sure you can see this here well. But it's, this is actually a white lithium grease. So this is, it's a lot thicker than your standard WD-40. And I thought, well, I'll try that. So what I figured out is that this lithium grease leaves a coating a lot it's a lot thicker i think than the w40 and you can probably see on the video i think you can see see how there's kind of some white residue there um where i sprayed in the hole and it leaked out that residue is is like lithium you know it's a greasy coating so um i did that and I had, like I said, the WD-40 didn't really work that well. There was, there was some bees back in those holes, so I hit them again, and I went back and I hit every hole. So let that go for a day. Came out yesterday and spent some time when the sun was out, and I had my population of 15 bees had gone down to about three. I saw a few random bees flying around, and what I noticed, I stood down here and watched one, and it kept going back and it was checking every hole. And it would kind of go and, you know, sort of look in the hole and it didn't like it and fly out and go to the next one. It was just checking, checking, checking. And I'm convinced that, um, that this lithium grease is the ticket. It's definitely kept the bees away on a sunny day, bright sunny day like this, they should be everywhere. And there's not a bee to be seen, so. Um, so that's the result I was looking for. So, um, my guess is, you know, these things are going to come back, I'm sure. And I'm, I'm probably going to have to pay attention when I start to see them come back. You know, I'm sure they'll come back and they'll probably drill some new holes that I'll have to, you know, refill full of grease again. Um, but that's not a big deal, at least for the moment, at least they're not eating away my deck. So, um, so that's definitely a success. WD-40, not so much. The WD-40 lithium grease, definitely a winner. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know where I got that stuff, to be honest with you. I'll find a link and throw a link down below in case anybody wants to try this. Um, you know, it's, I tried, I didn't say this in, in the initial video, but I actually made a couple of, um, they're supposed to be bee traps. You make it out of a chunk of four by four and you drill some holes and um, you, you, you drill a hole in the bottom so that they basically go up in and they fall down into the bottle and they can't get out. I tried that a couple of years ago. I think I caught like one or two bees. I didn't work at all. Um, I know you can get, um, here's one. I've got one flying around right now. As long as he doesn't find a hole to go into, we're, we're going to be successful. Um, I know you can get like powdered sprays, um, you know, some of the stuff that you have to order, um, like um, I've got some stuff like that from, I think it's do-it-yourself pest control or something like that.com. There's places online where you can get more um, like powders, basically, you get a puffer bottle and powders that you can shoot up into those holes that I think would do the trick too. Um, those, those are nasty pesticides and I really don't like messing with that stuff. So. Um, this is it. That's the ticket. So anyway, um, I got success. If you guys have problems with carpenter bees, I would highly recommend, you know, the lithium grease. It's, it's by far the easiest thing. Um, it's not near as much fun as hitting them with a racquetball racket. I'll say that, but oh, contact, but not hard enough. I just rolled him. Not this time. Uh, but it does actually keep them away. If you look at if you're looking for entertainment, knock them down with a tennis ball racket. If you actually want to get rid of them, try the grease. So anyway, hopefully you guys uh, find that video helpful. If you haven't already, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. We'll see you in the next video.